Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. So I was shuffling the cards and the victory card did come out. So it's the energy of, of something going well in your favor, overcoming some kind of hardship. Something is working for you. You're being very successful in some area. You're overcoming a difficulty or you're achieving a goal of some kind that you've set for yourself. So I was just going to leave it there. Um, there's something about overcoming hardship. The victory card. Having wins. Okay, let's see. Angels and spirits. Show us the messages here for Aries. Spirits and angel guides. Messages for Aries. The hermit. So the hermit is always the energy of a wise person a person who spends time in isolation um contemplating spiritual matters or doing work on their own soul it's not the energy of being lonely or unfulfilled the hermit is the energy of a prophet a wise sage um i've heard a few tarot card readers say that it's like a lonely energy it's not the hermit is someone who goes intentionally um, into seclusion to figure something out on their own or to connect with spirit and then come out on the other side. So some of you could be dealing with a wise person. It could be a Virgo. It could be a very spiritual prophet type of person. Um who could be giving you advice as well, but this is the main energy, spirituality. Okay, pulling away from the world. We have the Knight of Pentacles. There could be an offer coming towards you or a message from an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Let's see. And it could be somebody asking you for your advice. Um, we have the star underlying hope for the future. This is about a new beginning, something that brings you hope. It's a release. Okay. Most recently we have the strength drawing upon your inner strength, being very resilient, maybe having self-control. Maybe a situation was testing your patience or your strength. We have the justice card falling out. So it could be something to do with any legal matter. But this is the sword of truth and the scales of balance usually are there. I don't really see the scales. But this is about truth and balance and fairness. Something being made right in your life. It could be a contract in some cases, but justice means something needs being made fair, balanced, equal. Okay, show us Aries. So we have Aquarius, we have Libra, very nice energies. The world achieving great success. This is about achievement. So there's something that you've achieved or you've been hoping to achieve that's coming in. It could be something you've waited for with the strength. Um, so let's see what else have we got. Three of swords. Your energy is feeling a sense of separation. Um, there may have been something you're waiting for information that you wanted to hear. Wow, someone around you is in a nine of swords. Someone around you is really um, stressing out about something. Temperance. You want to be temperate. So you want to be patient, balanced, cooperative. Okay. 
Okay, and show us the energy of the outcome for Aries here. Okay, I really like this. You're getting a spiritual energy again with the High Priestess. You're trusting your intuition. You might be just quietly sort of putting distance between you and someone or being aloof. And it did come out with the Fool, a new beginning. Um, something where burdens are lifted off your shoulders. There's a new chapter. So let's see what the underlying energy. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energies. It's underlying. Ten of Wands. Somebody has a lot of responsibility. Hang hey, man. Three of Wands. Very ambitious. Page of Wands. Four of Swords. Okay. Two of Cups. Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles. So what it looks like here is somebody feels stuck in a situation. I don't feel like it's you. There's someone around you that feels stuck because they're having to carry a lot of burdens. Now, I feel like it's someone you used to talk to or something because Four of Swords was there. So let's see, what is Three of Swords here? You may find out some news. But underlying energy is healing and justice is being served and there's a great achievement here. So what is the Three of Swords? Oh my God. The Nine of Wands. You're refusing to give up on something. You're the warrior on the battlefield. There's something you've been doing for quite a while and you're not going to give up quickly just because you know, there might be something you find out or something. Okay, show me the Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay. We got the Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true, wishes that are fulfilled. Celebration and good times, but it did come out with a four of coin caution or saving money or holding back wanting to be smart okay six of coin is on the bottom some kind of payment you're receiving So nothing has held you back, basically. Even if your heart is broken in some way, nothing has held you back. The person around you is very stressed out or conflicted. Oh, I was going to say, what is nine of swords? I got the devil, which could be somebody has obs obsessive thoughts. They could be um, wanting to control something. They could feel like they don't have freedom. They can't do what they want to do. Nine of Swords is Gemini. So they're thinking a lot about every little thing, stressing. What is the Fool energy here as the outcome? The High Priestess. The Chariot. Fast forward movement. Something to do with travel or, you know, this is willpower. Somebody's moving ahead very quickly. There could be a car or something, but I mean, the chariot can be a car. Um, it's usually about travel. It's forward momentum. It can be a cancer in some cases. So show us the world. The world is what comes into the future. Achieving great success in your life. Okay. Okay. Um, I got two major arcanas. I got the hangman and the emperor. So you may be having to look at a situation differently or waiting for this, but there is success coming your way. Bottom of the deck is the queen of fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Being very energetic, confident, strong. Oh my gosh, the rose is catching on fire. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so let me 
So you have a victory. You will move forward. You don't give up on something. Justice comes into your awareness. So show me justice here. You will find out about something balanced, equal, fair, the truth. Six of Wands, the victory coming ahead out as a, a hero. This is the energy of heroes because you've overcome um, a competitive situation. You, you've done a lot with your life and you've come out ahead. Um, mostly because you've had some setbacks, maybe three of swords, nine of wands. You've had some setbacks, but you didn't give up. The person around you is more worried about this than you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now we're getting the sun card, happiness, joy, great success, positivity, feeling like there's wins. Um, so we have here the hero energy, like you feel like a hero. Um, but you've put it hasn't been an easy road and um you have the chariot with the high priestess and the fool um what is the devil here uh, it could be a capricorn we got a king of pentacles king of the earth king of the wheels okay so somebody could be obsessive restrictive anything that's about feeling like they don't have power okay show me nine of cups well i think actually oh wow on the bottom of the deck right now we have a ten of water mal stop it so we have the ten of cups happily ever after show me the nine of cups So you're feeling like a hero. It may have been something that you've had to wait for. And this brings about healing for you with the star card energy. Um, I feel like you may have had some kind of setbacks. Three of swords, nine of wands. Show us Aries energy in this situation. Ooh, your energy is queen of swords, Libra. So you had to put your heart aside and you had to fight for something or you had to send letters or speak your truth you had to be very direct with someone what is the so the fool represents forward movement nine of pentacles independently um doing quite well for yourself having a life of luxury and comfort you're definitely not in the lack there's no lack here so you're coming out ahead, but it's been a hard road. I think that's probably what people around you don't see. They don't see the hard work, the long days, the long hours, um, the setbacks. And Ace of Swords, the truth, Page of Swords, somebody who may have said something, and the lovers, Six of Swords, and the death, Seven of Swords. Yeah, I mean, there may have even been some people who lied or said things that weren't true, um, and you had to overcome that. So now you're basically reaping what you've sown. You're reaping your victory. So Aries, I'm going to leave this here for you. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. I appreciate you all. Don't forget the high priestess means you are very spiritual. You connect in with God's spirit and your angels. You don't get caught up in someone else's words towards you. You just sort of step away from that. Because someone around you is not very worried or concerned. So I'll leave that there. Thank you, Aries, and take care.